Hi guys, welcome back. This is an update video for OnePlus 3 and 3T users and also good for OnePlus 5 users too. So if you've got a new official update after a very long time, I guess near about one and a half month, but this time it is quite different. We got a lot of tons of new feature. Now what is important here is that till now both a 3 and 3T uh, were on the different branch and which is 4.1.x and the last one was 4.1.7. Now comparing the OnePlus 5, it has a different branch from the day it was launched. It was running 4.5.0. Now this time uh, OnePlus 3 and 3T have got the same 4.5.0 update so I will be showing you in this video comparing uh, you know the after updating both 3 and 3T we will compare with the official 4.5.10 you know on the OnePlus 5 what is the difference what are the features you are not going to get that and uh, what I am thinking what may be the reason behind that you know uh, the company is working on bringing the Android audio update so since all the three devices 5, 3 and 3T are getting the same Oxygenous update from now onwards so uh, initially I guess uh, after a few months or maybe the next month all the three devices will be getting the 4.5.x branch which is android oreo then later on both 3 and 3t uh, will not be part of the open beta updates what were going on earlier and we will be getting this new open beta update for oneplus 5 also so this is what i am thinking because most of the way this is how company was working so guys let's get started and see what are those updates and changes for 3 and 3t and guys regarding the installation since this is OTA incremental update so it may take a bit of time to reach to your device so as of now today the time I am filming this video download links are not yet updated but you can install this application this update via Opera VPN so you just have to make sure you should connect to this uh, Germany and the Canada region after that you have to go inside this setting system update as usual and you should see you should uh, get a new update of 197 megabytes of 4.5.0 update so just click on this uh, download and reboot you should be pretty much ready to go to get with the 4.5.0 all right guys here are the three devices so one plus three right here this is as of now on the old 4.1.7 so right here you can see once you go inside this about phone section that is still on 4.1.7 and i have updated this one plus 3t initially so this is on the 4.5.0 and this is the one plus five here on the auxion is 4.5.10 so the base version is you can see security patch is still on the august one so that is kind of same in both the old one and this kind new to 4.5.0 first thing you will immediately notice is that on the setting right here you can see this one has a little bit old border but the new one has uh, this completely white border which is completely aligned with the 4.5.10 that means on the aux one plus five build so this change is not mentioned i'm just uh, showing you here 4.5.0 brings a new feature called as a gaming board so which is not there on the 4.1.7 so that which is already there on the oneplus 5 4.5.10 but few things are already extra on the oneplus 5 right here you can see the otg storage and the bluetooth audio codec so this feature basically is a hardware requirement so you won't get this feature on the oneplus 3 and 3t and finally now we have a network speedometer on the status bar so this is a feature i was waiting from months and months that is why I always used to be on the open beta but you can see here this thing is official so this feature is already there on the oneplus 5 4.5.0 initial branch but now it is already came on this oneplus 3 and 3t so on the 4.107 you won't see any network meter the next change is a schedule night mode so night mode feature is already there from very very long time but there is a slightly new change here once you go inside this night mode you can see now there is a schedule night mode you can easily configure at what time you want to have this night mode turned on so once you go inside this night mode setting this is your night mode go inside this night mode in this on the old one you can just see there is a toggle feature which can just turn on and off and you can just control this rgb all the stuff but here you can see uh, this feature is automatically there for example you can now control automatic enable from sunrise to sunset or you can even add a customized time range so this pretty nice cool feature i already have this feature turned on so once you just have this feature turned on at the evening near to 5 to 6 pm based on your current geographic location it will just change itself now the latest oxygenos update also brings a new oneplus slate font so because the old one just have a single font so there's no option to change the font but right here you can see on the latest forward or fighter zero you do have options so this is your new oneplus slate font so this is a default roboto which is there already so this feature is already there on the oneplus 5 during the launch after a few days i guess forward or fighter 2 this feature came but now this feature is already there for the 3 and 3t there is a single change on the oneplus launcher also so once you go inside this uh, wallpaper section so right here you can see so now you do have option for the shot on oneplus so which is basically is nice so what i personally feel that what i have found that wallpapers quality are not a very great uh, wallpapers are okay they looks great but you know they are not a very high resolution very high quality as you can see my internet speed is pretty great here but still it takes a lot of time to come 
and uh, wallpaper quality as i told you it's not a very great quality uh, it does show you all the location you know you can just save photo and you can see here it is just hung up it's not even coming so you do have further setting option you can just uh, daily change the lock screen daily home screen wallpaper update automatically you can just keep on changing so this feature i guess uh, is there already here you can see you can just enable this feature it will just keep on changing with the wi-fi or wi-fi mobile data whatever you want and there is a new change mentioned for the phone dialer which is basically a redesign redesign calling ui but guys unfortunately my dialers are not working both the places i don't know they were working uh, i was on the open beta you can see i just roll back to the official and i install the latest uh, 4.5.0 here but this thing is not working and we saw for a flash of movement but again uh, you can see it's just going so sorry guys i cannot show you this uh, uh, re redesign calling why maybe you can just tweet me the, this new image whatever it looks like moving to the camera and gallery you can see there is a new change once you take any photo so there will be by default shot on oneplus so that you can i guess pretty much disable by going inside this uh, camera so once you go here we should have option pretty much uh, shot on oneplus watermark so you can see you can disable it easily and you can have it any of your you know uh, whatever text you wanted to so you can just disable it shot on oneplus or you can just uh, take your name on the same camera and gallery there is a new change you can see the photo editor has been completely redesigned so this completely this is a new uh, photo editor there is a bunch of options you can see actually options were there but it is uh, sort of redesigned you can see once i move inside this uh, change so you do have option strike in rotate 90 flip free but here you just have an you know, expert ratio whatever you wanted to so many cool things added and basically this looks more nice and you know easy to work on and on the default file manager there's a new feature called as a secure box so right here you can see you just have to set any of the pin i guess uh, pretty much it's taking six digit of pin so those are the same on the both the phones so you can easily import any of the audio and video whatever you wanted to so already i have this feature so basically this is actually uh, open beta feature so that's why i already have uh, files imported so you can just click here so you, it will give you option either you can i guess remove from secure box or you can just delete from here itself just like your built-in uh, vault application it's very nice feature you should have this feature on your phone and as always there is one default statement written by the company system stability and the battery improvement even though you know everything is stable but i get a lot of comments like battery is draining so fast or maybe guys it depends on device to device but right here you can see this is a quick battery stat so 49 percentage here and this one i guess i am on 33 percentage how much is showing so this is pretty old device more than a year old and it's not giving great battery backup but oneplus 5 is going solid and there is a new system change called as a added lift up display so there it is uh, we'll just show you so this thing is working like that as usual old one so if i just take it here and show you no, it's not working yeah this is what uh, this lifter display were so getting inside uh, there is nothing new but i guess this open beta feature should be coming very soon because you know you do have colorful animation there this is your uh, lifter display once you go inside this uh, settings display then you will see this lifter display it has been uh, you know there was a proximity wake up so that feature has been replayed with the uh, lift up display so let's see what kind of feature we are going to get on the future there is a new change on the system side which is called as a redesign dash charge animation so let's give a try on the old one what we are going getting there so it is like charging dash charging animation so let's give it a try a new one actually i'm using the single charger for all the three phones so there it is uh, yeah you can see that striking uh, electricity wow that's super cool i'm just showing you in the closer way wow <laughs> it's awesome i want to try it one more time here it is and i want to try the same on the one plus five whether so that's cool now let's give it a try same on the oneplus 5 whether do we have there or not so yeah actually i did not notice that thing wow that is super cool so do you have one charging the status so guys there it is this is your changes overall so guys here are the geek benchmark score for oneplus 3 3t oneplus 5 now i have also updated my oneplus 3 to the latest 4.5.0 so this is the build number you can see the latest uh, 230917 which is same on 3t so this one has number five as a massive score but you know after seeing the iphone 10 iphone 8 plus score so i'm kind of shame you know android is so low compared to that anyway guys this is your geek benchmark and this is your entry score on all the devices so take a look here so this is the score the massive actually i have seen the maximum 181 and this one 131 122 
So this is the one plus three previous two build score. I'm not just showing you guys too much wall because those are not necessary. These are the two uh, latest one, 4.26, 4.27, 4.5.0. This is the key benchmark score for one plus three. So as you can see, multi core score for the 4.27 was quite high compared to the current we have. And this is for the one plus three T. So there's a tremendous decrease in the numbers for the key into two for the one plus three T. And this is the latest one here for the key benchmark. So guys, there you have it. This is your one plus three, three T. Oxygen is 4.5.0 update. So thank you so much for watching guys. Stay tuned to the channel for so many cool videos for your OnePlus devices and other cool tips and tricks. Thank you for watching. This is Saurabh. I'll talk to you very soon. Have a great day.